time you choose a train, my lad. I sit right that very night. I joined the King David. I dipped my inside through the crew, saucy and polite. When Admiral Beatty winked and said, now Britain is all right. And the captain said, said he to me, Bill, my lad, put it there, matey. I said, right, gripped him tight, both of them were pals. <laughs> then I told one tale and he told two. And you talk about the sea being blue. Well, you know the sort of tales they'd be with the captain and the mini the king, baby. <laughs> one day alongside of the old gray key, I slipped off mysteriously, stayed on shore an hour or more, and met two charming girls. I linked them all around the town, spent all I could afford. But what a blooming row there was when I got back on board. And the captain said, said he to me, Bill, my lad, this is mutiny. You had two girls, golden curls, linking them round all day. And he cursed and swore for the crew to see, and whispered when they'd gone to tea, Next time you've two, say one for me, or I'll stop your trickle pudding in the king's navy. <laughs> we cruised around on the ocean blue, reached the Isle of Timbuktu, where the gales are tip-top swell, and love us sailor men. I read of them in picture books, didn't think it true. So I reached down the skipper's glass to try and get a view. And the captain said, said he to me, Bill, my lad, what a jubilee. These female bows wear darn few clothes. The climate is much too warm. Then the boatswain said, that's quite right, sir. And the farther you go, the less they wear. <laughs> you should have heard the captain swear at me. Because they couldn't get a taxi in the king, David.